guys, it's Baltimore Lauren with Lauren's Last Call. I recently got back from Disney World and I brought back some Disney treats. Um, Disney food is a big thing for me and for a lot of people. We're going to start with this amazing tea that I'm drinking out of my Mistress of All Evil mug that I picked up at a convention. It's a great mug, I know. I'd be mad if you didn't have it either. So we're going to start with Wonderland Tea, Topsy Turvy Tea Blend. It's black tea. The Alice in Wonderland teas they sell are actually quite good. Uh, I have had these before. They come in cute little tea bags and the little tag says drink me. It's actually quite precious. Um, out of a lot of the Disneyland and Disney World food and drink, I think these are worth bringing home, especially more than one box because I mean, unless you go to Disney World all the time, I'd be sad if I ran out of these. So, yay. Next, we're gonna do these. And now, I will make this chocolate disappear. Milk chocolate hot fudge truffle. So, they look cute. I picked it up at Goofy's Candy Company. Um, I don't remember how much it was, cause it's been like two weeks. Uh, I don't have my receipts, so. Ooh. I thought they'd be in individually wrapped, but, you know, here we are. Oh, uh, they all have little Mickey Mouse heads on them. That's sweet. I can't really show you because the lighting in here sucks. So, just pretend that you can see a Mickey head on there. Tastes like a truffle with chocolate in it. Um, it's milk chocolate, so it's not hard to mess up. That goes incredibly well with this tea. I think that's a good buy. I mean, again, if Disney is a once in a lifetime thing for you, go wild. Those are actually pretty good. They are, they're kind of similar to store-bought like Hershey's truffles. So, you know, maybe you don't need them, but I do, so, yeah. Next, we're going to do the shortbread rounds. I found these in the Fort Wilderness Lodge Hotel, and they were $4 for this little pack of cookies that I will eat for you guys and tell you if it's worth the price of admission. Now, $4 for some glory, glorified sugar cookies. Oh, these are, you know, they look like that. So let's see how good they are. They're not bad. They're not worth $4. Um, if, you're, if you have a screaming kid with you who wants these cookies, be a stronger parent and don't buy it for them. Because they're, they're good, but, you know, it feels like a waste of $4. So. Groovy. All right, moving on. These are the coconut patties. They are Mickey Mouse shaped. I bought these at, I want to say the Polynesian. So let's see. I, Coconut and I have an interesting relationship. Some days I like it. Some days I really hate it. I don't know what today is. So you're going on this journey with me to see if today is the day that I really just, oh my God. <laughs> so they, the first of all, the smell. The smell of coconut, like, punches you in the face with these. Like, my, I, I'm being assaulted with the scent of coconut. Um, they remind me of onigiri, like, 
chocolate Mickey Mouse Onigiri. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I have a lot of regrets in my life and this is now one of them. So I, I really hope this is good. It's a lot of coconut. A lot of coconut. Just a lot of coconut. Oh my god. That was a journey that I'll finish after this video. Next up we have Snacks with Character. I believe this cost me four dollars as well because it is vegan it is gluten free it is nut free dairy free and soy free so this covers a good number of allergies and it's vegan so if you're looking for a healthy treat that's gonna put you back four dollars then rice milk choco bar is the bar for you it's made by enjoy life and certified gluten-free. I eat gluten all the time, so, you know, I respect those who can't and those who don't, but let's see if I can even open the package. This is... I cannot open the package. Let's hope I don't cut myself. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> I almost died. It was, it was magical. All right, let's see what this tastes and look. Oh. So it just says enjoy life on it. There's nothing super Disney or magical about this and except the fact that Mickey Mouse's face is on the wrapper. It smells like very fake chocolate. <laughs> it like disintegrates in your mouth as you eat it like chocolate usually melts in your mouth, that disintegrates. And it's very weird. It has a very artificial taste to it. Maybe don't get that. Not worth it. And last, thank God, are the frosted pretzels. They have Mickey and Minnie on them. How precious. These are perfect for the holiday season, or even if you don't celebrate anything. Hey, who doesn't like chocolate covered pretzels? Here we have a case of, I can't get this open. Mickey Mouse shapes with green, white, and red frosting. How precious. I think out of everything I bought, this was the best thing I, that I purchased. You can pick up these bags for about $6 in most of the resorts and around the park. That is that is a winner. The milk chocolate hot fudge, pretty good too. Again, the tea. The tea is fantastic. I, I've never had 
never had a bad thing to say about any of their tea. It's super, super yummy. Uh, the rest of this stuff may want to pass unless you are really into tasteless chocolate, you really like coconut, or you like overspending on shortbread cookies. You know, I mean, if you're in Disney World, why not? But anyway, that's enough for tonight. I will see you guys later, maybe one day again with Rich. But, you know, he's been busy. Oh, well. Love you guys. Bye.